Hi everyone, Cenexsoft here. So this one is High Media Q10 Pro uh, TV box running Android Nougat, Android 7.0. And the device was actually launched in 2016, but recently the, the company has upgraded the firmware to Android 7.0 and implemented full Blu-ray navigation. So they asked me to show you this, so I will test uh, two kinds of navigations I will show you as well as audio pass-through. Let's get started. Okay, now I'm in the user interface. Uh, please ignore the vertical line, that's a problem with my 4K television. I will start Media Center. Access the hard drive list of videos. So I have a few uh, Blu-ray uh, videos here. So let's take the first one. This one is a Blu-ray rip. So we have two options here. Full Blu-ray navigation or BD Light navigation. Let's start with BD Light. This one, this one will start uh, the video immediately, but you can press the menu key on the remote control and uh, which will bring the Blu-ray menu, but only in, in text uh, version and you can switch uh, audio tracks, if you have multiple audio, craps, audio tracks in your Blu-ray disc, subtitles, switch to another chapter or switch another track of the of the Blu-ray disc All right. and this one has been implemented for a while ok, and let's go back and start again but this time let's start full Blu-ray navigation So it will not start the video immediately and then instead it will start this menu. So at the bottom you will have uh, some selection, it will depend on the design of the Blu-ray of course, you can start to play. You can select uh, the scenes, basically it's the same as BD Light except it's much more pretty. And usually you have to buy expensive equipment to do this, uh, but High Media made it on their, I think it's $150 uh, device. You can also switch audio tracks. Subtitles. Either disable or select another language. And access special features. But extra tracks to show uh, make off or something like this. Okay, and if as I play this, if I press the menu button, I can still uh, access the options text based, or I can call the pop up menu. Alright, so now I will start the video somewhere. And here yeah, I will. Uh, okay. English menu, I will switch to 
English subtitles too, not only audio. And audio is the one I want to show is True HD 7.1. So if we look at the AV receiver data, we can see is True HD 7.1 input. And the video output is 4K at 24 Hz. So everything is good. And uh, let's say I switch to another one. Spanish. Okay, now I can check Dolby D surround two channels. All right. 5.1. Okay, you can see it has switched to 5.1 channel. So everything uh, audio pass through, all the Dolby ones appear to be supported properly. Uh, so yeah, if you want to uh, check all the settings, I'll go through it quick, quickly. You can adjust the uh, delay for the subtitles, change the font size, change the position, set it like the default language. Uh, just some place settings like frame rate adaptation. It will uh, output to the right frame rate. If you don't want to select each time uh, between Blu-ray navigation and BD Light navigation, uh, you can select here, and you can select the area code as well. And this one has some quality settings common to all. Uh, I media devices or at least I silicon and you can download externals. Subtitles. So let's go back to the top menu and I'm done. Alright, uh, the audio will switch so the HDMI will turn on and off. Alright, thank you for watching. Bye bye.